This is part four in the final segment of my Survival Cash Containers video series. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. Make sure you watch parts one through three before moving on to this one. In this final part, we're just going to go over a few more remaining comparison items and then we'll go through the final results of all of the cash containers. One of the best things about the PVC survival tube is that it's completely plastic. There is no metal on the outside of this container that could possibly rust by being buried underground for a long period of time. This thing could be buried underwater for a long period of time and nothing on the outside would rust on it. Let's see if the same could be said for the other containers. So the same could definitely be said for the Nalgene water bottles. These are just plastic bottles. There's no metal on them. Uh, they could also be buried under, underground or in the water uh, for as long as possible without any rust appearing on the outside of it, which would deteriorate over time. But the same cannot be said for the two other types of containers. Let's start off first with the Survivor Ammo Can. As you saw in the water test, the Survivor Ammo Can is definitely not completely waterproof. If it gets on its side or upside down, it's going to get water inside of the lid. And as you remember, inside of the lid here, it has six screw areas. So you have multiple screws that are could possibly get wet and over time would rust would appear on these screws. And the last thing that you'd want in a survival situation is to finally get your survival cache, try to open it up and the, the screws are completely rusted out and you might even strip them trying to open it and you can't get inside of it as easily as you normally could. So that's the survivor ammo can, multiple areas of rust. The GSI gearbox containers also have exposed metal. As you can see on the latch here, there's a little metal rod that's attaching the latch to the plastic here. You can see it a little bit better there. And then on the back, this back hinge over here, it's, it's, there's a long uh, metal rod that's inside of there. And it'd be very hard to get any kind of grease in there to help uh, protect it from water over time. So over time, I imagine that both those areas of metal would degrade and build up rust. The next comparison topic is with regard to the transparency of the items that are stored within each of the containers. As you can see, the two containers on the left are opaque. You cannot see through them to see what's actually stored inside of them because they're completely black. Compared to the ones on the right, which are transparent, you can see everything that's inside of them. That's one of the main problems that I have with the PVC survival tube is that it's completely black. You have no idea what's inside of this. It, it could be anything really. It could be uh, water, it could be food, or it could be an explosive device. And no one really knows until they are actually to open it up. Uh, in most cases though, if this were to be caught in an urban environment and someone thought it was suspicious, the bomb squad would come out and they would have to blow this thing up and you may have some unwanted legal attention. So that's definitely something you should keep in mind when purchasing uh, a container that's opaque in design. The same thing could be said for the Survivor Ammo Can. And this one is a manufacturer and it kind of looks it, like something you haven't really seen before. It looks like a, a trash can with a lid on it and you cannot see what the items are inside of it. In comparison, the Nalgene water bottles are completely transparent. Anything that's inside of that, you're going to know exactly what it is. The same could be said with the GSI Outdoor Gearbox containers. So if you know someone happened to find this thing, uh, they would easily be able to see, oh, this, there's a bunch of food and water stored in this thing instead of some kind of mystery on what might be inside of it. So in my opinion, the pros go to the transparent containers, which you could actually see the contents inside and it also could be used and, uh, as a geocache, for example. And I think a con is just having one that's opaque in design where you have no idea what's inside of it. It may lead to unwanted attention. All of the containers have various size openings for actually placing the items inside of them. For example, the PVC survival tube only has an opening of around 11 centimeters. In comparison, an Nalgene water bottle has an opening of around 5 centimeters. So only smaller items are able to be fit inside of there. In comparison, the Survivor Ammo Can has a very large opening where you can fit large items inside of it. But I find for survival caches that it's best to have a rectangular container. You're able to fit a large amount of items in there that are large in size and you're also able to organize them better. Because they're rectangular in shape, you could have things organized uh, very nice and neat uh, in comparison to a cylinder item, which you're going to have a lot of dead space that you're going to have to fill up with things that are uh, semi-flexible. So as far as openings go, as you can imagine, the smallest ones are the Nalgene water bottles, followed by the PVC survival tube. Uh, next, the Survivor Ammo Can, which has a fairly good opening, although it's also cylinder, so you, so you can't fit a completely square item in there. And the best one, in my opinion, are the rectangular GSI gearboxes. 
that's going to do it for all the test categories for this particular video series. So now let's go through the final results. I have all of the containers organized from smallest to largest. So the smallest one being the Nalgene water bottle and the largest one being the GSI Outdoors Lexan Gearbox Extra Large. And I have the one that I felt was the winner for the particular category highlighted in yellow. So let's start here on the top. So with regard to shape, I find that having a rectangular prism is the best shape to have for a survival cache because it allows you to store things in there a lot more efficiently. It's easier to play Tetris with a rectangular uh, prism than it is with a cylinder. With a cylinder you can have extra space that you have to fill in the gaps with. With regard to cost, this one's kind of a variable, but the cheapest one to get is a Nalgene water bottle, uh, which you probably imagine right around $9. Uh, with regard to volume, uh, the one where you have the most volume is the GSI Outdoors uh, Lexan Gearbox Extra Large at 8.34 liters. So the most important figure then would probably be the cost per liter, so the most bang for your buck. So the most bang for your buck that you're going to get is with the MTM Survivor Ammo Can at $2.56 a, a liter, followed next by the GSI Outdoors Lexan Gearbox Extra Large at uh, as cheap as $3.24 per liter. Uh, the next category is transparency. I find that having a survival cache container, it's a, I think it's important to be uh, transparent because if anyone were to happen to find it and not know what the items were inside of it, you could have some potential legal problems uh, with regard to that. So uh, the Nalgene water bottles and the GSI uh, gearboxes are all transparent. The PVC survival tube and the survivor ammo can are opaque, so you have no idea what the contents are inside of it, and that could be a potential problem. Uh, the next category is for whether it is waterproof, and all of them passed my waterproof test except for the MTM Survivor Ammo Can, which is totally not waterproof, which was kind of disappointing. I mean, you have, you're talking about having uh, two O-rings, having six screws, two different heads to the container, and it's still not waterproof. So that was kind of a, a big letdown. Uh, the next category is with regard to tools, or what kind of tools are required to open it. So the Nalgene water bottles and the GSI Outdoor uh, Gearboxes don't require any kind of tools to open it. Uh, with the PVC Survival tube, if, if you're using the plumber's tape with it, I find that you're going to have to have a wrench to open it. You might be able to jerry-rig something uh, if need be, or if you're really strong, you might be able to open it. But if you're using that plumber's tape, it, man, it's on there real tight. Uh, so you, you'll need to have a wrench with that. And with the Survivor Ammo Can, you'll need to have a screwdriver to get rid of the six screws that are on there. So if you're talking about speed, if you want to dig up something really quick and open it as quick as, quick as possible, uh, not having to have any tools to do that is the, the quickest way of doing that. So I find that to be plus. So uh, with regard to the, the size of the opening, so the maximum size of opening, so the largest kind of item that you could put in there, uh, the GSI Outdoors uh, Lexan Gearbox Extra Large won that particular category. Uh, it's much larger than any of the other ones, even the diameter of the Survivor Ammo Can at, at 7 inches there, both uh, the length and the width of the Extra Large version uh, surpassed that. Uh, the next category to go through over is for exposed metal. Uh, you're talking about having something buried under the ground uh, where there's moisture and the, the, if there's any kind of exposed metal, it's going to rust over time. So the Nalgene water bottles and the PVC survival tube have no exposed metal on the outside. The GSI Outdoors gearbox has uh, hinges, metal on the hinges, and then the Survivor ammo can has six screws. Uh, so the, that's the exposed metal for those particular containers. Uh, all of them passed my crush proof test at various weight limits. So uh, that was uh, one that was all across the board. And then the next category that I have here is regard to burial depth. Uh, you might not have a, a full size shovel with you. Maybe you'll just have a little hand uh, shovel. Uh, so the one that has the minimal burial depth is the Nalgene water bottles, most <laughs> because they're the smallest ones. Uh, the GSA Outdoors uh, gear boxes and the PVC survival tube both have very minimal uh, burial depths as well. Uh, the MTM Survivor ammo can, because it needs to be placed vertically because it's not really waterproof that has a 13.5 inch vertical uh, burial depth minimal so uh, that one's the largest one so I tally, tallied all of them up and I have little numbers here for the amount of yellow highlights that they had so the winners as far as uh, the tally goes is the Nalgene water bottle 1 liter version and the GSI Outdoors uh, Lexan gearbox extra large both with seven of the yellow highlights so for this particular video series I found that 
the, the best survival cache container uh, that passed all of my tests, or that did the best with all the categories, was the GSI Outdoors Lexan Gearbox Extra Large. It is the most expensive out of the ones that were tested, but I found uh, that it was a rectangular prism, which is very easy to store items in. It has the largest uh, volume with regard to liters at 8.34. Uh, it has the second best cost per liter, especially when you find it on sale on Amazon. Uh, it's transparent, it's waterproof, there's no tools required to open it, has the largest opening to it. Uh, it does have some exposed uh, metal, but maybe you could put some uh, grease or something on there to help to protect those over time. Uh, and it is crush proof and it has a very minimal burial depth. So I found that the GSI Outdoors Lexan Gearbox Extra Large was the best one out of the bunch for this particular test scenario. So please let me know if you uh, disagree with those results and those are the final results. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video series featuring survival cache containers. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comments section. You can also download the PDF document to the Geocaching for Preppers document, which has links for all the items that you've seen in this video. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.